Hey guys, KT here, welcome back to some more Minecraft story mode. Now we are currently heading off to episode 2. Last time we actually ended episode 1 when we actually found the Order of the Stones location. Now like usual with Telltale Games, this first part of episode 2 is going to be 30 minutes long. That's how I always do it. Every start of an episode, 30 minutes. But then afterwards the rest is 15 minutes like usual. But yeah, let's get started. Uh, because we actually chose to go after the engineer, I believe, which I, I'm thinking is the one on the right. It might be the guy on the left. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure because she's wearing red. He's wearing green and the two marks were red and green. I'm pretty sure I went with the right one. Um, and we also saw the wither storm heading off in a certain direction. So let's get started with episode two. This is going to be fun, right? I don't know. Previous been a while. Minecraft story mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary. To do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Alright, let's see how this goes, actually. Not 100% sure, and hopefully it goes, whoa. So we're going through the nether? Huh. This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! <laughs> ow! 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 Hide! Is that it? Shit, Wait, <laughs> this is not gas. good. The minecart! something about the ghast. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Bo. You know it. So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Ah! Woo! Let's go! You and me, ghast. Three arrows. Hopefully that's enough to take care of you. Oh, shit. Let's, uh, go! Skewered! Ah! Oh, right in the head! Oh, so it only takes two. Nice. Shame he didn't drop a gas here. Would have been awesome. Actually, okay, I don't even remember what they did. Again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow, who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. 
Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. Shape, it's not like real Minecraft where you'd have to stand on it for a while just to go through the nether. Uh, I know how badly that sucks when uh, going against gas, just shooting right at you. Nether say die. Wow. Wow, intro. Nice. Really love the. I lo so that was our intro, just fighting a gas. Super nice. to enter my dome of concentration where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future but I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation the command block so please continue working continue building and whichever person most impresses me they shall be my protege ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity Calvin throw the switch Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Good point. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Uh... I mean, I'm no Elega. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message? Please? No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? Jackass. We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Um, course, sure, why not? Might also want to hang on to it. Oh, thanks okay, for saying sure, it now. That would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Oh, wow. Well, guess we'll need luckily to get there's... another repeater. <coughs> right. I love how her mouth did not move once. Kind of funny. Cowpult. Okay, so it looks like a lot of inventions go on through here. I mean, from the speech, it sounds like she's looking for a protege. Holy sh Wow, that was awesome. So the cow goes up, gets hit by, by the slam slime, and goes flying. That's awesome. Hello. Why, hey there. I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. 
The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. Um... Let's ask if she has a repeater. That's what we're looking for. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Sorry. No dice. Uh... Let's let's ask if heights bother her because that's that's kind of a thing there. Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Huh, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you wanna fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Huh. I'd be crazy if I if, if that was my main reason for going up high. I absolutely hate hate uh, heights, and I mean, if you ever catch me on it, I'd be terrified. I'd be holding onto the ground. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually fly? You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. Uh, good point. Um, let's see. We have, uh, a fountain. It looks like... Wait, hold on. No, no, no. I don't... Wait! No, uh, I'm I pretty have sure... I no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. I mean, you're not wrong. Dude, I was expecting, hey, we can take a redstone, uh, block from that and activate it, but then I realized, nah... That's not as good as- Oh shit, is this a robot? Holy shit. Sup, schoolboy? Hey, hey, what's up, what's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people I did. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Megmaster 9 million? Yeah, it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Elagard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here. And you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. I mean, you're not- you might not be wrong. Hold on, maybe he has this repeater. Are you still here? Damn it, I can't ask him out now. Shit! Wait, hold on, what's this? Oh, let's talk to this guy, then we'll take the repeater. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> what am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Okay, do you, you need, need a hand? Anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm they must hate keep each other. On keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cow. Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? Um... What little lies is he whispering? Uh, he little says you're a cow killer. Why not? Jerk. I told him I wouldn't tell you, but... He thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That little, uh... I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. 
Guess I. Sorry, pal. I'm taking oh, this good no, old report, my Peter. Machine. Oh my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no! Your amazing invention. You, you did this. Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh my cows! My poor cows! You got steak now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a monster! I'm a monster! I stole a repeater! Shit! Maybe I can- If I- If I find- What?! Are you telling me I could have easily have not have stole it? I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry friend, tapped out. And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a-flying! Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. Admit it! Uh, I'm not gonna admit shit. <laughs> Jeez, hold on, I'm gonna check this chest real quick, because I'm kind of curious. Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Odd. Uh, okay, so that's kind of... If he has a repeater, it's gonna be upsetting. Uh, what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh, I just said hi! Much better! What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Sounds like a teenager, why Speak give him that now. voice? Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry! None of those to spare! Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya! But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can't do! Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna say why not. I don't even think he's done with that. If I find out you can actually buy a repeater, I'm gonna be... Okay, no, no. I feel bad for fucking taking the... What's this? What is this? No, no, no! Never mind, never mind! It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! Sorry? Shit, I didn't mean that. Now I'm upset. I literally blew up and I talked to him. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to blow up your shit. Where, she just ran. I don't think that's a, oh God. What'd I do? That was accidental. I didn't, I didn't realize the last second that it was a TNT cannon. Oh my god. It's bad. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Now did she did he hit this lever? Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. What about this one? Switch is on. Okay, good, good. And time for the last one. Bam! Door open. Kinda sucks that I blew up that creation though. I feel like a griefer now. Fuck. Wow. Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Now my whole thing is, I'm wondering if, uh, if I'll be able to get both heroes, or if I'm just, if I just choose one and that's just it, I mean, I don't know. Whoa, what the hell? Well, that's weird. 
Oh, there's a lever over here. Maybe I have to activate both both to open the door. Wait, there's pressure plates. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. What I activate though? It's kind of bad that I'm pressing buttons. Was that? Oh shit. Most redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. I agree with that one. And we got a crusher. What are those things even for? Maybe I don't know. Breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Well, wait. Can I just hit the? Okay, whatever. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Well, just gotta use our brain. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> almost got smashed. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. Wait, could our amulet be a part of all the- oh shit, I'm hoping it's not. Okay, let's just head to the, to this lever. It's I I can't help it. I gotta press levers. This is how I am in Minecraft. <laughs> I'm just one of those people who can't that's help awesome. but touch things. But that's pretty awesome. I will admit that. I gotta try. Now I don't know if I'll be able to create that in Minecraft. Actually, the whole lava gate. I actually always think want to do that in Minecraft, but I never uh I never am able to because of my stupidity. Are those bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. I can't want to hit the button again. Button, bats, bats, bats. Okay, this should open the door, I think. Yep. Actually, I'm wondering what is causing all those to open, because it's not, they're not all connected, so I mean, kind of weird. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, no, I really don't see. I'm just an idiot. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Operational. Oh, she's talking. Every latency? Speedy. Still talking to myself? Can yep. I touch anything? Because I I want to touch stuff. I'm one of those players. Here we Just go. touch everything. Okay, so I can only talk to her. Got it. Let's go talk to her then. Whoa. Wait, what? Hi. Hey. Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jessie, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. It's just a button. <laughs> now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Yeah, that sounds about right. So first off, she wanted to press the button to be pressed. So might as well hit that first. Then we'll go grab the items she needs. Okay, delivery circuit is on. 
Blaze Rod, Iron Block. Okay, that's easy. Blaze Rod! And I- whoa, hold on! Oh, this is just other ingredients. I was gonna say, if I could actually find ingredients that are useful, I could actually use that for later on. But, nah, I'd rather not steal from her. It's probably not the best idea. Because I already stole the whole, uh, repeater. I feel bad for that. But, wow. I, I don't think that was an op option, really. Tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard, I got those things you asked for. Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser. Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think about I've ever fainted <laughs> before. I was just so excited to meet you, and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? No, it was Calvin? Gabriel. Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe- Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Teamwork. She absolutely hates Olivia. I just feel it. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Got that emerald. That le <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm just getting shit left and right. I think Olivia might be jealous. Whoop! Need all these? I hope I don't have to put him down. Okay, thank God. Yeah! Teamwork! Whoop! 
Whoop! <laughs> and a bada boop. <laughs> Come on, create the command block. Come on, block. Ah! <laughs> Gotta hit all them switches. That's how we do it. Oh, jeez, that just really made me mash that A button, though. Whoop! <laughs> they really want to build up that A. Here you go. Just wait on it. Shit! Come on, just create the command box! It's locked! <laughs> Invent it! Oh. She absolutely hated that I waited so okay. I didn't wait. Ah. Uh. This is so exciting. Terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never. Is it destabilizing? Oh. No. Elagard, come on. Get back here. Come on. Run and run. Let's try, not gonna get hit by that tentacle again. Shame the command go. block wasn't created. Get to the so, so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right when it starts up, uh, so we can end this part. Okay, guys, well, if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out the Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch page, really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!